Peace, Farmer Courtney here. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth about an experience that I've had so much that that's the design of the podcast is interconnectivity and seeing agreement even within um, points of view that either A, have nothing to do with each other, right? Seem totally unrelated or people who seem really opposed and just that the whole spectrum that can exist within those points of view. But what used to happen was, you know, I had this experience of having an immediate intellectual affinity towards the theology of the nation of Islam. And as a Caucasian, that was sort of confusion territory, right? I didn't, I didn't know what to do about it because, uh, you know, it was pretty much like being someone speaking a foreign language than the land that they're in and nobody else is speaking that language. No one really even being able to understand that language. They hadn't um, been exposed to it. And so there was a miscommunication or, you know, just confusion or if you know a little bit about a language and then you say things improperly, you say the wrong thing, you're just never in a place where communication is really flowing, right? So um, I was in this place where I would feel very lost in that translation space where I didn't know how to translate the teachings so that I found a clear directive that fit my lifestyle illustrated in story many times about how uh, divinely isolated where our farm is, but it really is a big factor. <laughs> it's challenging. And so the times that I would go and meet people face to face or go here or go there, I didn't really have a lot of opportunity to screw it up because then the whole opportunity was missed. And I did that for a while of just making the wrong tact or angle or, you know, just like misreading the, the audience's ability or capacity <laughs> to talk to me. And in, um, I teach homeopathy and well, I teach people what homeopathy is, right? Cause a lot of, um, misinformation is spread about homeopathy. So many people don't have an awareness of what it is. And I'll just say what it is. It's a alternative organized non-toxic system of medicine that's used all around the world with great success. And so it's heavily suppressed because that's a big market square that, um, the dominant party would like to remain dominant in. <laughs> And so there's a lot of suppression of homeopathy. In my homeopathy study group, I teach about that one of the mistakes, there's like seven common mistakes we can make in homeopathy, and that is that we ask people who are unqualified for advice about an issue who don't share the same mind or knowledge or exposure, point of view, way of life, right? Like you can appreciate people for where they're at and acknowledge, settle on the best part of what you can learn from each other in that moment. So you just need to be aware of not asking people. So I guess I had so little contact with people that I wasn't aware, right? I, I wasn't aware of just how out of range the knowledge that I learned from the Nation of Islam was from the majority of people in my life. So of course, you know, going through this, uh, as I call it, the Jonah decade for lack of a better description, where just I was thinking I could run from God and just run from opening my mouth and, and speaking. And so, <laughs> is that kitchen door open? Um, all kind of things took place and one of them that I started to really finally recognize a pattern and it was when I calmed down a lot internally and was just able to accept the divine isolation. I think I just was out here feeling like, but I didn't agree to this, this like total extreme isolation feeling all the time and you know, as I had mentioned in yesterday's video, you know, you don't know what you don't know, and I'm included in that. So I feel like 
in learning now of how even just looking up words, looking up definitions of the most basic words that we may have heard time and time again, um, even the word make, last time I looked that up in the dictionary, had something like 56 definitions, you know, and not all words are like that, but just I was hearing things and then that lost in translation where I wasn't actually realizing that my assigned definition and meaning to the words that there were other ones. And so I was kind of lost in this translation space. And so I was always sort of having a bit of a fit of being out here. <laughs> and then when I started to notice this pattern emerging that I could hear what I learned from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam, like different streams of consciousness that I was able to pick up agreement in pretty much anything that I would hear. So I could be hearing a song on the Christian radio, we live, you know, out, and at a certain point, that's the reception that's the strongest. And, you know, if I, if I got tired of listening to pretty much NPR, you know, I would listen to like talk, um, different discussion and stuff. And I was always observing, trying to figure out, you know, okay, so if this is what everyone's listening to, everyone, <laughs> the people around me, you know, like in the Cornell area, if this is what um, the folks around here have on all the time, I should know, you know, it was unlike how I viewed the television, I really felt like I should know what they were talking about on public radio. And I wasn't aware, you know, of the scope of how deep certain things were and the funding and all of that. So I still used to think that. So anyway, I could hear what wasn't being said on NPR and be like, hmm, that's, that's a big oversight. We're going to have to, you know, revisit that. that that's not going to fly for a long term to leave that out of the conversation. That's a key part of the equation. Then I would have the Christian radio station come on and have the lyrics. And I am a lyric hawk or like bloodhound. I'm always listening for the lyrics and then uh, questioning them. It drives my teenagers absolutely crazy, but it is something I can't turn off. I'm always listening. That's that risk gift again. Just wondering, what are what are we being told over and over? And in all the Christian music songs, I would hear different streams of uh, spiritual guidance and, uh, what is it? Uh, Narr like narration teaching from the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Uh, you know, I would just suddenly see actually how two groups of people might think that they're not covering the same issue, but if understood, I was able to glean things. So I started getting better at um, the translation. And then it was just sort of like when that first kernel pops in the popcorn pot like you're waiting you're waiting you're waiting and um and then all of a sudden it just started popping off i would see these things and then i became able to really view what um one of the brothers so there were two brothers that originally would you know interact with me from the five percent nation then the one the older one he would only kind of check in with what I was talking about and thinking about occasionally, just sort of like peripherally. <laughs> but one time he heard me explaining before I really came into an acceptance of my setting that actually I was in a living sociology class. Most people just study people and ideas and concepts in a book form. And here I had this opportunity to interact with all different types of people despite my location anytime I was interacting with people that it was a different sort of people than I was raised around you know country living I was I was not used to rural life and like really small town rural life like that and I just you know it was a different element so he's he gave me that perspective and I thought okay you know and of course I wanted to you know argue and have a rebuttal to that and this that but he didn't talk to me that much so he just kind of left me with that you know always had something interesting you know input that just stay with me and then I started to experience that that like popcorning off and I got a lot more grounded in what I was supposed to be doing it was still kind of a, a slow journey you know <laughs> but um it was a lot more internally I just I felt a little bit better when that started happening and then I still didn't really know what to do with it. And that's, you know, the, <laughs> I haven't really. That, hence the, uh, the 
long. This is upside down and cumbersome, but anyway, the long <laughs> list of podcast episodes that I'm striving to make on here and, and give a representation to that process and just, you know, give life to those different ideas and things that came through and just put it out there. Because I think right now, especially in this moment of time, there's very little true guidance for people who are genuinely questioning, right? Who are in that space where they don't have the, the same language, the same exposure, they don't know anything about um, what I speak about in these videos, just the impact of the Nation of Islam's mathematical theology on my thinking process. They don't know anything about that because it's constant slander and misrepresentation of what is actually being tried, you know, communicated and and so it's, that's part of why I wanted to make these videos because, um, you know, I'm, I was just deeply appreciative of all of the years of service of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I was thinking on his 89th birthday about his 67 years of service. I was going to put up a post about his birthday and then it came to me that actually the best thing that I could do uh, would be to be consistent for 67 days. So that's what these videos are. This is day 11 <laughs> and just kind of putting it out there a little bit about how I'm not as as lost in the sauce anymore, but you know, striving every day is still a constant thing of me having to really keep a lot of materials and, and pictures and things in my environment to have me constantly focused on it because there's um, nothing in my immediate reality other than interactions that bring it to mind, you know? So um, yeah, it's been, a, it's been an interesting setting and time and isolation. So anyway, just, I was, I was just thinking about that. So I figured I would bring that to the, the conversation today. If you like this video, found it useful or uh, interesting in any way, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.